Hey everyone, in this video, I want to quickly showcase just how fast On One Photo Raw 2023 is at completing some of the most difficult tasks photographers face when they're editing. When it comes to portraiture, lighting is key. In older versions of Photo Raw, we would have to mask in our lighting adjustments manually, and this can take up a lot of time, especially if you're new to masking or editing. In On One Photo Raw 2023, you can instantly readjust the lighting in your portrait. All you have to do is click and apply your adjustments. Let's relight this portrait scene in less than two minutes using the new AI masking tools in Photo Raw 2023. So inside of Photo Raw here, we have this portrait and we can see that the lighting in the background is really quite bright. It's giving this nice backlighting to our portrait subject, but the portrait here is a little bit dull and we need to give our subject a little bit more lighting and we need to darken up the background. We basically need to swap the lighting a bit. So let's first darken up our background. I'm going to hit K on my keyboard. That'll grab me my Super Select AI tool. You can also head over here and grab it in this left tool well. And I'm going to select the subject there. So I've selected my portrait subject. Now I'm going to head up to my mode and I'm going to change that from paint in to paint out. Now I'll go into my apply menu. And if I hover over this adjustment and I go to darken, which is exactly what we want, we can see it's creating exactly what we want. So I'll choose that and then I'll choose add there. And over in this local adjustment section, you can see it's created the mask for us around our subject. And if we turn this off and on, it's really doing a phenomenal job of darkening up that background and giving us a much more even lighting within our portrait. So now let's apply a couple of adjustments to our portrait subject. I'm just going to hit K on the keyboard to grab my super select AI tool and I'll select the portrait subject again and I'll right click because I want this adjustment applied to the subject in this case. And I'm just gonna go into my tone enhancer here and I'm going to choose contrast. And that's just going to boost up the contrast within our subject a little bit. And then we'll also pull up on these shadow tones just a hair. We're also going to click on the subject again. We'll right click and we're gonna warm her up a little bit. So we'll just go to warmer in this color enhancer section and that'll warm up her face a little bit and make her skin appear much more natural. So if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, it's looking really nice and it's the lighting that we're looking for within the scene. 